welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is relaxation hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, if you listen to me fairly regularly, you'll know that and if you listen to other people, maybe other relaxation recordings, you'll know that I do things differently. It's perhaps not as structured as it could be, and perhaps not as structured as other people do it. But it flows, and it's... It's very conversational and I generally don't ask you to really do anything. I might do, I might sort of say, you know, think of this and but it's you're not needing to really concentrate in any great way throughout the recording. Because I don't know it's just the way I do it, and part of the process of this being a relaxation session at the beginning leading to a sleep session at the end. Now you can set your alarm to wake you up if you're listening solely for the relaxation. There's two versions, one with, one without music. The music by Kevin MacLeod, the one with that in the background is two hours long. So it gives you a little bit of variety so you could listen for relaxation one day and come back and maybe listen for the sleep. Or maybe you listen for the relaxation and be surprised that actually you do drift off to sleep even though that was not your intention you may be listening because you just you know your stress levels are too high and you, you want you need to release the tension from your body and maybe your mind is almost seems like it's throwing negativity at you bombarding you almost and you need that to calm down you need that to slow down and some people when they're going through a tense period in their life may struggle to let that go or they may in the past found that they struggled to let go of those thoughts at night when they want to go to sleep so although as I have progressed over the last 15 years doing recordings online I've come to realize that actually relaxation sessions and sleep sessions are not really that much different in a sense of with a predominantly just a sleep session I'll be focusing on sleep the whole time right from the beginning but then so often there would be the focus of progressed relaxation of the body and the slowing down of your mind which is a relaxation session so now I tend to do both at the same time so that you have the option 
I hope that makes sense. It's, I know it's a, it's a lot of waffle, but that's what I do best. I waffle on. Waffle, waffle, waffle. Lots and lots of words. But the intention behind this and every recording is for you to feel better at the end of it than you did before you decided to press the play button on this recording. That's the the bottom line, really, is the very least I wish is that you feel more relaxed, even if it's just slightly more relaxed than you did before you decided to listen to my voice and allow allow my ideas my words to affect how you're feeling in a positive way And you may find, just in the first five minutes of me doing this introduction, where I haven't really done or said anything, not really, but you may find that you feel more relaxed. You may be surprised that you feel more relaxed. If you're a regular listener, you may just just be used to it. You may... And that's the thing, though, as well, because the more often you listen, the easier you find it to feel really relaxed and also to drift off to sleep. The more often you listen to my voice, hear me, there's almost a, like a light switch. So when you press that play button, there's that connection, that physical movement, even though it's just a screen on a phone or on an iPad or tablet, maybe a computer whatever you're listening to this on, maybe television. But there's just a, like a play. The process of just pressing play can have almost a a neurological connection to you and your body relaxing. It's like a trigger to your spine to send those messages of calmness to every part of your body. And then your mind automatically starts to slow down anyway because when your body is relaxing, your mind also follows and becomes more relaxed. And when your mind becomes more relaxed, your body automatically follows. And this is just something that happens naturally. Doesn't make me a wizard for doing it, it just happens naturally. It happens to everybody when your mind feels relaxed your body will feel more relaxed which then relaxes your mind because they're connected and it's worth remembering that our heads and our bodies are one they're not separate things they're not separate there's a thing called a neck that connects them the spinal cord you know the all the 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 air tubes and all that stuff it's not a separate thing 
And I think sometimes I think of the head as being separate to the body. But it's not. It's really not. And let's face it, the body wouldn't be anything without the brain. Without the spinal cord. There wouldn't be... The body would be doing nothing. But then without the body, what would the brain have to do? So, you know, the brain needs the body, the body needs the brain. So it is connected. So your little toe on your left foot is connected to your right ear. Neurologically connected. Because it's the same body. And it may seem strange that I would start talking about little toes and ears and stuff. But something valuable, I believe, in making friends with your body and making friends with your brain. Which may seem like a very strange idea. But then when you think about it. Who are you closest to in the world than your own body, yourself, your brain? Yours are the only thoughts that you ever hear. Your physical experiences are the only physical experiences you ever experience. You don't know what it feels like for someone else's right foot. You only know what it feels like when you wiggle your own toes. You don't know what it feels like for someone else. We can assume that it's exactly the same as it is for us. But that's just assumption. So to make friends with yourself would be literally making friends with your best friend. It's just acknowledging that you are the only person that you spend 24 hours a day with every day of your life. You don't do that with anybody else. You'll never know anyone else as deeply as you know yourself. So maybe it makes sense to make friends with this person that it's almost like you're chained together. You know, you can't escape yourself. Doesn't matter where you go, you're there. And the idea that the thoughts that we have are out of our control, that it, the, the brain and the mind is something completely separate from us when it is us and perhaps by making friends with your own mind things start to calm down Because it sometimes feels that for a situation, for example, when you're in bed and your mind's overactive, which is something to be grateful for in one sense, that you are able to have a very active mind. And that's a sign of health. That's a sign that your that your brain is working. You may not enjoy the you know the actual product that's being created, as it were, 
you're watching television, you miss the TV programs, you might think, don't like this channel. Change the channel. But once you realise it's actually you, it's your mind, that you're actually producing the programs yourself. I mean, firstly, you don't have to watch any program you don't like. And secondly, if you don't like the program, you could change your channel or you could just stop making the program. Start to eliminate the negative thoughts. And this isn't something that has to happen all at once. And it's okay to have negative thoughts. We all have it. It's okay to have all thoughts. You're a human being. We have all kinds of weird thoughts, lovely thoughts, scary thoughts, all kinds of stuff. But there is a time and a place when you realize that actually you're the boss and you choose to have some space where your mind slows down and there's just not much going on in your mind as your mind relaxes as your body relaxes and it's not about repressing thoughts or feelings it's just taking a break from them for a, a period of time whether it be half an hour one hour two hours listening to this recording maybe eight hours whilst you sleep so you're not turning off your brain you're not turning off your thoughts you're just taking a break you're taking a holiday Deciding that you deserve to enjoy those natural abilities that you have inbuilt, such as relaxation, just in the same way you have inbuilt within you the ability to be happy, to be excited, also to get angry. You've got the ability to do lots of different things and to experience all types of emotions. But there's a time and a place where you can give free reign to those thoughts and emotions. And meditation can be quite a nice place for that. Maybe you sit down and just allow all those thoughts to come. Let them just express themselves. And that could be a recording another time, in fact. But now, you don't need to do anything. There's nothing that's important enough to get in the way of your comfort. And anything that needs your attention, and I'm not even going to pretend that there's nothing important going on, because we all have important stuff, and there may be some huge stuff going on for you but that's not relevant right now we 
regardless of how important it is. You just let that go for now. It's still going to be there when you open your eyes. It's still going to be there when you finish relaxing or when you've woken up from a deep healing sleep. The difference is your mind will feel different. Your body will feel more relaxed. Your mind will feel more concentrated. The creativity will be there in abundance, allowing you to think of new and useful ways to deal with whatever life presents to you. And of course there's the physical benefits, the health benefits of letting go and relaxing. And personally, what I find to be the, the best part of relaxing deeply is, well, first of all, it's free. But it's also easy. There's no effort involved. In fact, it's the opposite to effort. If you were to sit there or lie down on your bed, repeating after yourself, I've got to relax, I've got to relax, I've got to relax, or I must go, go to sleep, and you know, you feel all tense about it. That's the opposite. You can't force yourself to relax, you can't force yourself to go to sleep. Just like you can't force yourself to like a particular food that you don't particularly like. You can't force yourself to fall in love. You can't force yourself to like a song or a movie that you don't. This is just natural stuff. It's a case of allowing yourself to be yourself. Because you don't turn into another person when you relax. You don't turn into another person when you fall asleep. It's still you. Because you're with yourself 24 hours a day, every day of your life. So although you're there, it's quite nice to have a little break. Because while you have a break, the other parts of you are still doing everything that's needed. So your brain is still taking care of all of those automatic functions within your body. So when you're listening to my voice and feeling more relaxed, There is no effort involved. There is nothing for you to do. Because these feelings happen automatically when you give yourself permission. Which is why making friends with yourself can be so useful. And a way to make friends with yourself is to spend more time feeling relaxed. To spend more time feeling grateful for what you do have. 
spend more time allowing positivity into your mind and into your life. Also allowing yourself free reign to feel every feeling, every emotion, so that nothing is held back, nothing is repressed. So you're basically clearing out all blockages literally in your body and in your mind all blockages can just dissolve so that your blood flows easier your thoughts flow easier Breathing is easier and you relax, you relax so much easier. And it feels nice when you realize that You can just let go. It's a decision. And you just let go. And the more relaxed. You feel the more at peace you feel, and the closer you feel to yourself, the more you appreciate yourself and what you do have in life. And those walls that used to be up in the past can now just disappear allowing more positivity to enter your body your mind and your life more positivity Helping you to relax so deeply, so very deeply, so very deeply, and the deeper you relax, the sleepier you feel. It's just a natural process. And some people would have already fallen asleep. Some due to boredom. Some because when you let go of everything and put your faith and your trust in yourself. You feel more alive. Able to make positive changes. Not just whilst you're feeling relaxed and sleepy. But you can know 
notice as your mind naturally starts to drift if it hasn't already done so. There's a feeling feeling inside that that everything is going to be okay and that sleeping will now be so much easier to let go completely. So much easier. So much more relaxed. Positivity. Spreading across your skin. Sending your skin. To sleep. about yourself about what you have accomplished feeling good about all the people that you've helped in your life
as I count down from 20 down to 1. Each number that you hear and relax you Eight Oh.